Well, I grew up with bikes because mum and dad used to have a motorcycle as their only transport with a sidecar on it, so the whole family used to get chucked into the sidecar and that was how we got around. It wasn't long after that I got my first bike and then I've been addicted to it ever since. Never really got the chance or the opportunity to have a motorbike until I met Pete and I guess that's when it started for me and then I was a pillion on the back. After several years I decided I wanted to ride it myself so that's when it took off for me. When you're on a motorcycle, you're in it, you know, it's, it's all around you, you hear the sounds, you know, you're, you're leaning into the corners, it's kind of like a version of freedom, just, I don't know, you just can't explain it. So my bike is a Ducati Scrambler, it's 800cc, which suits me perfectly. It's a good bike for riding down the Hewn Valley. I chose the Kajiva mainly because it's a nice, comfortable riding position. It's a nice, easy bike to ride. On a day tour through the Huon Valley, you'll go from following a coast road. You can head inland through Nichols Rivulet, and you're essentially riding through almost rainforest-type conditions. They're quite tight and twisty roads with flying corners, so you don't know what's around the corner. And then the next minute, you could be back on a nice, sweeping coastal road. So it's just constantly changing scenery. You come around a corner and there'll be a, a view of, you know, a big long sandy beach with no one on it and, and um, the water's blue and there's just nothing like it. Wow, well, that's just outstanding. Yeah, the views are fantastic this time of year, aren't they? Been riding for an hour through twisty corners, you start to get a bit tired. You've got to try and make a point of stopping, otherwise you just you're riding from A to B all the time sort of thing, so if we do see something nice, we stop. And it gives us the rest too that, that we need. I'll always go through the bikes, check tyres, check chain tension. Um, just a visual check of the bike, make sure everything's as it should be, just the basics, check your oil as well. Obviously, we check our riding gear as well, you know, we make sure we've got the correct riding gear for what the day is going to bring us ahead, you know, if it's obviously winter time, we'll have our winter gloves and winter jacket and everything. The weather in Tassie, it's always changing, so you've got to be prepared. It can start out quite cool in the morning, and then as the day goes on, it can suddenly get really hot. Riding in Tasmania is different mainly because you're constantly turning and the road conditions are constantly changing. You've got to treat Tassie roads with respect. They're, they're fantastic roads and Tassie roads will bite you if you're not careful. One of the things that can happen riding this time of the year in late autumn, early winter, is you get beautiful days. You know, it's 18, 20 degrees during the day and it's beautiful riding where there's still there's no wind but first thing in the morning it's cold and you can even get frosts that damp patch on the corner might be frost you know we all know ice and two wheels does not work because there's a bit of gravel on the road watch out yeah thanks for the heads up gravel is often a problem when you can't see it as you're coming around a corner and suddenly the bike's skidding and slipping it's all about keeping your eyes keyed in to what's on the road to up ahead it could be the difference between spoiling your day and, and enjoying your day.